if people were too young to know this, know your story, once the Colin Kaepernick story came out, you were connected to that. Do you still talk with Colin? Do you guys still have a relationship? Well, we never really had like talked a lot, but we did meet in uh, the Bay Area when he was going through what he did. We had a mutual friend named Hashim Alot Dean. We met in like a you know a private office, spoke for about an hour, and uh, we just shared information, man. And if it resonated, it uh, we took it. But the, the biggest takeaway for me during that whole night was when he said, "This is the most free that he's ever felt in his life." And I, you know, I said to him, I said, well, it's because of this freedom that allows people like yourself and those who came before us and those who will come after to take those risks and do what you did. So it's, it's a beautiful thing. The circumstances, you know, a little bit different, but when yeah. you saw what happened with him and it's the NFL versus the NBA, you definitely felt that that definitely touched you and hit home, right? Oh, no question. Uh, which is why, I mean, and I think that's the time when I was just getting familiar somewhat with social media and I ended up sending like, look, I support you 1000% because I had no access to him. But, uh, you know, as you said, so many similarities uh, between, you know, what happened to him and what happened to me. And I already anticipated when I heard it, the the playbook, you know, what was going to happen and everything that, you know, I thought about pretty much, you know, the condemnation, of course, the diminishing of time, uh, playing time, no longer have it, you know, all of these little things is what happened to my career. And, uh, but yeah, we've, we've been able to develop a relationship because it came out with a book through his publishing company, you know, in the blink of an eye. So, but in terms of he's a busy man, we don't necessarily communicate like that, but we did have a conversation some time ago. It's wild. Cause he's only 35 years old and he still could be in the prime of his career. When you look at what some of these NFL quarterbacks are doing, do you, do you think he still wants to, to be out there? You know, that's that's a good one. Uh, I know he did. Uh, I would imagine uh, he still does, because when you grow up, man, like we did. Uh, and of course, there are your exceptions. But I think many of us, we start young. And so we train and that becomes a life for us. It's in our DNA. And so you just don't turn that off, that competitive spirit <laughs> right away, especially the level that he was playing in. So I would assume that if, if the situation presented itself, for sure, he would get out there and want to and, and end up on a good note. 